I keep forgetting to advertise the 600k giveaway, so make sure to check that out down below. There's a link. Make sure to enter that by just subscribing to the channel, follow me on Twitter, follow me Twitter, follow me on Instagram, and add me on Snapchat as well if you want to. The link will be in the description. It will have all these steps, so it's nice, easy. You can do that while watching the video, and yeah, enjoy the video. Is it on? What is going on, guys? Can you turn off the fan, please? As you can see here, the Hue lights are actually on right now. I'm gonna turn them off, but what is up, guys? The WTV, and let's go ahead and change the scenery first. It's pretty dark. No, I'm gonna just do the bright one. It makes me look like a freaking snowman. There we go. Alrighty, but we're gonna go outside right now. Actually, we need that lamp to film outside, so let's go right now. I, I did get a new lens. The, uh, what is it? Uh, for all you, uh, fans out there. 16 by 35 millimeters, so. I can't really show you guys the side of it, but maybe you can? No, I can't. So, I'm gonna go outside right now and do some things with the bubble ball that I didn't do in the last time it snowed, so let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, we should ride this in the snow. Actually, no, 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 don't, don't, don't. But if you look at my car, there's actually icicles on there. Just took some off. Look at that. Get off my car. It's not, it's like 27 degrees outside right now, and my car's freezing. Oh, there's like literally ice on, okay, the engine is still warming up the hood, which melted snow on the top. I don't know why we put green lights on our, I'm like, what the heck? I'm gonna eat one, actually. These are the big ones. Oh, there's one. Let's eat it. Tim, eat this. Wow. Anyways, I'm not gonna be driving my car because, uh, what happened last time was actually, uh, close to that. <laughs> It wasn't, that, it was barely any damage, but that's why I'm not driving it right now. I actually Ubered most of the day today. We're gonna go to the backyard right now and go in the snow. Ooh, I got some lights out here already. Ow, we're gonna have a match with the bubble, bu oh, there's some right there, but those are probably popped. So we're gonna take some off the trampoline and pump them up and do some battle in here. Look, feel this, it's like all ice. Like, like air turned into ice, you're like, whoa. I'm, what I'm the heck? We can't even pump them up because there's literally ice right here. I'm not a scientist or anything, but I don't think air can turn into ice. It can, actually, because there's oxygen in I mean, there's water in, uh, in yeah, air. Science lesson. <laughs> yeah. Climbing All right, he's vlogging, and I'm vlogging. This ghetto, is not going to work. So he's ladder. climbing the ghetto ladder ever. <laughs> I'm literally repeating everything you're saying. <laughs> Just climb. Come on. The only what? The problem is, like, up top here, there's snow. So, like, I'm, I'm afraid to slip right off. Well, I'll film it. So if you fall, we got some good vlog footage. Ow. Anyways, the trampoline is, like, full with, uh, with a bunch of these bubble balls. So Okay, he's sweeping it off now because there's a lot of snow up top. There's a lot of snow, so he's sweeping it off. To walk. Not on me. He's almost up. Come on, Dan. He's on. Do a backflip. Okay, he's tear. I don't know if he's actually gonna jump. It is pretty terrifying up there. Crawl right over and just jump right down. <laughs> Terrified. Go. Wow. Beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful jump. What would you rate it? Nice 7.8 out of 5. 7. Oh, if I would have stand. If I was standing, I would've got a 10, huh? Yeah, 100%. All right, let's go to the front yard. Alrighty, so we're actually outside now. Okay, put him on. Let's go. Wait, no, wait. Come on. Hurry up. I don't want to get lost. Well, there's a little pond, actually, where basically you can um, walk on it because it's probably frozen right now. So, yeah, we're going to run to it. Oh, it's like somewhere over there. Holy crap, it is actually slippery. Oh, yeah. <laughs> run, and, run and slide. Wow, amazing. Okay, that's enough of that. Let's go ahead and go to the uh, pond now. I'm kind of oh, scared because it's kind of dark outside and I'm walking to the pond right now. So we're going down the hill. There's a little hill right here actually. So there's Danny running. Let's speed up. Okay, but. Oh, ooh. Okay, that's why you'll step on it first. Come on, Dan. Whoa. Uh, dang it. Okay, get my camera. We need to find a rock first, David. <laughs> Do you know this area well? I don't see anything because of the snow. So I can't tell where I'm stepping. Okay, so that rock is impossible to lift. Let's actually test it first before we, uh... Oh, that's solid. That is solid that's ice. That's solid, we're good. You can legit walk across that. Oh, but... I literally chucked the rock so hard. Okay, let me do a smaller one now, see if it... That, I think that's in the eye. Oh. Yeah, I'd like that, that's so solid. solid. That's solid. Let's go. You go first, though. <laughs> How many pounds of pressure did I just drop on there? Over 200. No, 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 this is easy. Yeah. I don't see why it would break. It's so cool. Like, look at this. this Let's walk ice. across it. <laughs> like, look, this is a river. What happened to the fish, dude? They're dead, actually. Really? They're hibernating underground. This is so. Imagine if there's like a shark in this little pond. We're not trespassing. Dude, I'm scared. No, this is solid. <laughs> So I'm gonna record a Snapchat story, but if you want to see the Snapchat story, add me on Snapchat right there. It'll actually be in my description as well. You can't see the snap code. It's David underscore Vlasenko. Check the description to add me on Snapchat. So I'm gonna throw this right there. Here we go. Okay, that's not gonna break. Oh, is it cracking? No, was it was cracking? Here we go. Okay, that's not gonna break. 
Is it crazy? <laughs> I thought we were about to die right then and there. <laughs> I thought I was about to drown in two feet of water. <laughs> no. All right, all right. All right, we can I'm go gonna, back. I'm going to try to walk across it. Here, hold really? the camera. Like Jesus Christ in water. Hold my phone. Daddy's gone. <laughs> Run. No, no, no. Oh, Dan is walking. I'm gonna follow. But like, is it hard or something? Okay, it just cracked over there. So let's keep walking. Let's go on the. I think on here it's gonna be softer. I mean, harder. Yeah, it's that's thin. like the middle. All right. Well, you can't see anything, but we're about done. We just traveled across that whole thingy there. But I was kind of sketched because you can't see anything. So if you fall, you're done. You're gonna be soaked and wet in frozen water. I'm gonna head back home now and do the iPhone 8 video. Come on, guys. Who drew this? Who knows where I live? Nine eight. Nine eight. How what? mad would you be if I threw this at your car? Oh <gasps> no! You. Oh, you got the camera. Your camera. <laughs> oh no, Danny fell. Are you okay? All right, guys, so I'm back inside now. What I'm going to be doing is actually talking about the iPhone 8. So, a lot of rumors already came out about the iPhone 8, and I'm not a professional in iPhones. I don't know a lot about them, but I really am a big fan of Apple and their devices. I have like all my devices are mostly Apple, like the computer I edit with, and then the except the camera, they don't have cameras and beats. I usually use the Apple headphones to edit my videos, but I have that just because I like it. So I also have the MacBook right there, and then I have an iPad. I have just a bunch of Apple things. And what I'm going to be talking about is the iPhone 8. So it will obviously be released in September, which every iPhone is released in September. But this time, why it won't be a 7S is because why it will be an iPhone 8 instead of a 7S is because the three-year cycle, I've heard other videos that said their Apple will have a three-year cycle, which basically will make it the 6, 6S, and then the 7. And then that's three years already. So they're going to move on from that and go right to the 8. I did look at a lot of images of iPhone 8s. So what I think it will have is wireless charging most likely will have that and also to keep the regular charging it will have a regular charging port as well it will stay the same I don't know why they would change it and then maybe just maybe add a headphone jack because the new MacBook that came out actually has a headphone jack and I don't know why that matters but just those little hints maybe will hint us that the iPhone 8 will have a headphone jack just maybe so the Apple AirPods came out too I really want to get those that's off topic okay so yeah I've seen a lot of pictures of iPhone 8s and their design so hopefully the next one will have no bezels let me open up my phone as you can see here it has really fat bezels at the top and at the bottom so the next iPhone I've heard also on videos is that they will have no bezels right here at the bottom and at the top so the home button will be actually on screen just like the Samsung Galaxies it's not on screen actually has a bezel as well but it's a lot smaller and they have buttons where it's just like a touch it's not a physical button even except the middle one but there are phones that just have um, little screen things that show as a button and maybe it'll be like 3d touch just like this home button here and then the other buttons, the power button will probably be just 3D touch, so like it will be slick, and then it will, you can just feel the power power button there. It will have a little line maybe to indicate that it's a power button. Same with the home button, and maybe the mute, I think. I don't know why they would have that there, but also what I would want them to do is actually add, make it where the camera does not stick out. So as you can see here, the camera sticks out a little bit, which pisses me off. I hate that it does that. It's like when you place a, okay, let me show you an example. When you place your device, you can see that the camera, oh. Okay, okay, let's redo that real quick. That was kind of dangerous, but as you can see there, the camera sticks out like that and it pisses me off. So I really want them to just make it flat here and nice and even. Yeah, so the design will be a lot different since it's not an S series. Just like from the iPhone 6S to the 7, it changed a lot in my opinion. Like the camera style change and then like the outside, that's talking about 7 Pluses, not these just regular 7 from the 6, cause those like, you can barely see a difference with those, but not the 7 Pluses. So I don't know what display the current iPhone has, but they will probably add the OLED display where it will it will have better quality the iPhone 7 actually does not have an OLED display but hopefully the iPhone 8 will make an OLED display for the iPhone they have OLED TVs which look amazing and I really want them to add better quality to the iPhone screens even though they're like really good right now but you know why not add better quality to your iPhone and maybe make brighter screens like when it's really sunny outside you turn up the brightness all the way and it's still not bright enough for you to be outside like summer days sometimes maybe even make the screen a little more dim at night when you're like in pure dark said some little features that I want to be added for the iPhone 8. Alrighty guys, so now we're gonna go on my Mac and show you guys some iPhone 8s that I was talking about in this video. So like without the bezels on the phone, this is what it should look like. Just like this picture right here I'm showing you guys. It shows iPhone 7, but that's hopefully what the iPhone 8 will look like, except maybe a little bezel just like right here. Let me show you guys real quick. So instead of having no bezel, maybe add a small one where you can put the microphone and the speaker so you can like when you're talking. So let me show you guys really quick here. This image right here, as you can see, let me zoom in. There's a really small bezel which make it look nice and slick design there. And then maybe like on the sides, it like 
curves a little bit so it makes it look a lot cooler so maybe you can use it like the edge Samsung edges series and then this is another design I was talking about where you have the home button on the screen and maybe a headphone jack there's a headphone jack right here credit goes to all the creators and like designers of this these iPhones like this one this one's just terrible I don't know why they would make the iPhone 8 look like that but right here as you can see there's another image of the iPhone 8 so I've seen a lot of images that look like this right here with a small bezel at the top and then like a really small bezel at the bottom as well. Maybe no bezel at the bottom, that would look really cool. So yeah, that's basically it for the iPhone 8s. There's one right here that looks like an iPhone 5 but with, yeah, that's just, no, that's no good, no good. I've been seeing a lot of YouTube videos of iPhone 8s with like projector screens and like projected keyboards but they're just not gonna add that because why would you use your phone on the flat surface? That would just look dumb. So like when you're holding your phone, it's not gonna like show up right here. That's just impossible because that, it needs an object to like shine the light on. So if it's just gonna go, it's gonna go all over the floor and stuff like that. So it won't make sense to even add that feature. Speaking of wireless charging, the iPhone, the Apple Watch has wireless charging, which was used even before this year. So like when the Apple Watch actually came out, it had wireless charging. So if you guys are curious actually to see what the charging looks like, I'm just gonna show you for example here. So let me go and walk to the charger. So this is what it looks like right there. They might have it a different design, maybe like a little square or the, or just across the whole iPhone, a little pad where you can place it on. So like, where's my Apple watch? Oh, here it is right here. So hopefully they don't add these kind of designs on the back of the iPhone, like those little circles, but that's most likely just the heart rate stuff and not part of the wireless charging feature. So yeah, as, once you place your iPhone, it should charge just like that, just like the Apple Watch charges. So it's charging 100%, I don't know why I put it on charge, but yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed the video guys, and yeah, see you in the next video. Goodbye, leave a like, comment, and subscribe actually. I don't know why I forgot to say that.